Hello, Guardians. I mean, hello, Guardians. Um, f camera's not in the right place for the screen that I look at when I play, so I'm sorry if some of that's a little weird and janky, but uh, let me know if you guys enjoy the face down here and I can move the camera and kind of adjust that situation. Or if you guys are like, hey, take the face out. I just need the info. Let me know. But it is March 19th. It is weekly reset day. So all that being said, uh, let's kind of jump into what we've got going on. Just a little precursor. Friday, Sekiro, uh, Shadows Die Twice comes out. And I'm looking forward to playing that actually quite a bit just because I enjoyed Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3. kind of got hooked on those. So I like that style. So I'll probably be playing and streaming quite a bit of that. So you guys can definitely check that one out if you're interested. Probably do a Let's Play series or something along those lines. Maybe Boss Guides if I have a, enough patience to actually try and put one of those together as well. So really looking forward to that. Division 2 is something I might play as well as I'm kind of behind the curveball for like builds and top 10 things. If you guys do want to see Division 2 videos, let me know what you guys might be interested in as well. But it is Destiny time. And we are here on a weekly reset, sitting here in the tower, enjoying the evening sky, and uh, yeah, we've got most of what we're going to get with Season of the Drifter. We've now seen Reckoning Tier 3. I haven't yet. I'm not high enough, but eventually I will. Uh, Gambit Prime, we've got another map today, so that's three out of the four. This is back to one of the older maps, just with the Gambit Prime mechanics. And we've seen an Invitation to the Nine, which I really hope those continue to be as awesome as the first one was. If those have cinematics like that every single week... Oh, hell yes. Sign me up. That's going to be awesome. Um, so those are really, really cool. If you haven't done an Invitation of the Nine, don't miss out. They are pretty cool. Uh, so definitely try and do that. And it's not like you're going to miss out. It's not like, hey, if I do it this week, I'm going to be on week two and I'm going to miss the first one. You're just going to start your series of nine or however many weeks it is later. So I may be one week ahead of you. If you didn't do it last week, you'll still get to see them all in your own gameplay. So I will do those and record them all and upload them. So if you miss them, no big deal. I can show them to you guys. You do get powerful gear, so I would advise doing them. Uh, it's not a bad idea. So for Destiny this week, we've got our usual director activities here. First, we are going to get to uh, the basics. So we've got our flashpoint on the big one. European Dead Zone, we got a lot of options here. Uh, flashpoint. Hit your heroic adventures. All those things are always good. EDZ is always nice. There's a ton of public events. Lost Sectors, if you really want to mix those up, they're easy to do. And all in all, like, kind of my favorite. I wish the public event circuit was a little quicker on some other planets, but you'll always have one to pick from on this planet, pretty much. I say always. 99% of the time. There's probably a rare moment where I've had no public events on EDZ, but it's pretty rare. So that will be your flashpoint. Uh, knock that one out. For the Vanguard this week, we've got, when it comes to your story missions, Heroic Adventures, which of course still counts, and then your Strikes as well. You're going to have Arc Singe all week long. So if you guys have heard about Ward Cliff Coil being a beast, it is exactly that. So when the Heavyweight buff is on, which will be this time on Thursday and Sunday, when that is active, Ward Cliff Coil absolutely melts. And I'll kind of cover a little brief tip of builds for the Nightfalls, but... Even Grenadier is cool if you got double grenades or whatever. Just have some fun, throw grenades. But even with just Arc, you know, Word Cliff Coil is going to do a lot. But if you have Arc Singe and Heavyweight, oh, you're going to be messing some stuff up on those Heavyweight days. So for sure, have some fun when that stuff comes up. Night Falls this week, we've got three. We've got Strange Terrain. If you are still looking for that Braytech Osprey, which I still am. Don't worry. Me too. Um, this is a good one. You can also melt this boss really quickly. If, say, you and one other person have Ward Cliff Coil, um, pop a Well of Radiance, you or Rally Barricade with, you know, Well of Radiance with Luna Factions, Rally Barricade. A uh, couple people with Ward Cliff Coils can finish off the boss in, like, for, like, instant phase one. I'm gonna see if I can solo do that one just to see if that's, like, solo one phaseable. Um, well of Radiance with Luna Factions is probably easier because you are gonna be short on time. Uh, so that bonus damage is going to be better. I'm not sure if Rally Barricade is going to be able to do it. I'll try it. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, Strange Strain for the Braytech Osprey. If you're going for collections, Wayfair, and stuff like that, it's one of those boxes you do need to check. So if you don't have it, put in some time. Then we've got the Arms Dealer. This one I will typically run with Void, actually. So Strange Strain, I would run Arc, generally. If you got Thunderlord, while it's not quite as good, it's still pretty good. Um, but for the boss, Ward Cliff is just a beast. Uh, Arms Dealer, Void. Void, if you can run Void, Heavyweight, something like Crooked Fang, and if you can do the chain trick that I've talked about in previous videos, that is a way to melt that boss insanely fast. It's an exotic sparrow called Tilt Fuse for your uh, exclusive. Nothing major, but it's there. Will of the Thousands, this one also isn't too bad. Um, definitely don't do Solar, just because that's what the boss damage is. 
And also you're going to struggle if you do void because the floor can go void. So honestly, arc on this one probably is going to be decent too. You will still have to deal with the boomers, but if you go arc singe and heavyweight, you can drop the boomer shields really quick, which is going to help you as well. I think I would say arc on this one. I haven't run it in a little bit, but that would be my wager, I think. So those are going to be reasonable. And honestly, unless you're about 690, 695, don't even worry about the 100,000 points. I'm at 670. I might see if I can squeeze one out on something where I think I can get a lot of points, but if you're not quite there yet, don't overdo it. It's not worth it. The 100,000 points is really only going to be like a plus one bump anyway. Your big stuff is Gambit Prime and Reckoning and all of that. So those are your Nightfalls for the week. For Gambit this week, we've got your uh, standard Gambit, you know, your dailies and your weeklies. Gambit Prime, your four matches, this is going to start to drop a little higher. Like Gambit Prime... Your four matches are going to get you like, you know, plus three, plus four from the powerful gear that drops from this. So definitely spend a little time in there. Reckoning this week is going to start. Remember, these two are on a daily rotation, but you have an Arc Singe all week long. Speaking of Wardcliffe Coil, if you have Arc Singe and it's a day that you've got heavyweight, um, hello, you will be able to melt, especially tier three. If you can get in there, um, you're going to just destroy things. So today's a pretty good day to even mess around with tier one or tier two. Wardcliffe Coil ammo can be an issue but if you need to melt majors that is definitely a fun thing to have with you so enjoy heavyweight or honestly thunderlord with this pairing right here arc singe and heavyweight you're going to tear some stuff up so today's a pretty good day to mess around with tier one maybe even tier two you should be able to put in some decent work so reckoning uh tier one i think is 15 percent of the 100 tier two i actually haven't finished so i don't know my guess 25 tier 3 35 just a shot in the dark but i don't know if you guys know drop a comment below let me know what the percentage is i just know tier one is 15 percent, so you guys can do that math accordingly for the crucible we have quick play of course rumble and lockdown still not really a lot of people's favorites i'll be honest if you can read the expression on my face um where you lock the middle zone and then you kind of push for the other zone if i remember correctly so no i'm reading that wrong i think they took that mode out sees at least two zones in capture progress control all three for a lockdown to win the round that's it okay so it's kind of like control where you're kind of going back and forth trying to win the round for holding those points longer but if you get a triple cap you actually end the round early so that's actually a pretty good way to do it so it's an okay mode it's just kind of a tweak on control but in rounds so it has its ups and downs it's the one where you have like the middle point and then you can like try and like invade their bank or whatever their far one is that's the one that i don't think anybody likes it may be gone so hopefully it is uh, if you guys are looking for your competitive, my uh, glory is higher than zero, thanks to uh, Havoc helping me with a little bit of farming for the Thorn quest. Um, but yeah, Thorn I don't have yet. I am working on trying to solo that strike, which is just going to be bananas, but I do want to try and see if it's even possible. So that might be a stream later in the week as well. Oh, we'll touch on Tangled Shore, Dreaming City, but let's go check a couple of the vendors and then we will uh, see what's next. Sorry, I almost forgot before we jump to the vendors. On Mars, if you are doing Escalation Protocol, jump in here. It is only the shotgun this week. There is no other weapon available. So shotgun only. If you're looking to build up an armor set, remember you still have to do this like five weeks in a row. So keep that in mind. I don't think this one's actually too bad. But at this point, if you have a group that runs it through, they're usually not too bad to kill any of the bosses. All right, Guardians. So here at Test, we've got your standard bright engrams. You've got your prime time bundle. The forward scout is still there, which is pretty cool ship. But I do believe is it is exclusive to the bundle. So if you are looking for it, this one is definitely going to be for dinero only. And then we've got two moats bundles. <clears throat> Excuse me. Delectable moats bundles. This is going to be still hungry for the gnawing hunger. I don't even know what this is. It looks like an auto rifle. I really, really, really like these um, looks on the weapons, though. I like the handle with the leather strapping. I like this crazy taken effect in the middle and just the gambit stamp on the side. Both of these are cool. Also got the smart streets, street smarts, smart streets. I can't talk, apparently. Uh, the outwits. So this, I believe, is the pulse rifle, if I remember looking correctly. But again, leather strapping and wrapping on it. You got the ivory handle, the gambit stamp, the taken, like, basically power to the weapon. Gambit in the scope as well. So both of those are cool emblems. Emblems, ornaments. Uh, so if you're looking for those, they're actually pretty cheap. Not too bad. They're just legendary ornaments, so not as much. We've got the reload ornaments. <laughs> Got the left and right. There you go. That's actually from Mission Impossible Fallout, I think. That's the Henry Cavill one with uh, throwing the shirt off the Confused. That's the John Travolta one as well, so always pretty good. Do have the Crazy Squaro, the Praxic Finery. So if you're looking for um, pretty much one of the cooler, ornate-looking sparrows, this is the one for you, at least for this season for sure. 
Uh, you got your basic legendaries through here. You do have your Vulcan's Heart, which is the Hallowfire Heart Ornament, which kind of gives this thing more of a molten fire look to it. You can actually see kind of the lava throwing through the background. Pretty cool animation if you like the chest piece, which has some decent uses for the Titans. Kind of a cool ornament, so if you got the, uh, you know, bright dust, you might have to pick that one up. Also for the Rat King, we've got the climate change. Basically, they are frozen over by frost. It doesn't change an element or anything, just makes it look like it's been frozen over. And then for the Night Watch, the new Scout Rifle, again, another ornament here, Insomnia, which shows they will sell these sometimes, um, but if you just are diving into a very specific ornament, you can buy those from the bundles. Outside of that, pretty standard stuff. Um, you know, if you want some bright dust, make sure you're spending some time on those bounties. Let's go talk to Ada, and we'll get to the rest of this. All right, here in the Black Armory, we've got the Auto Rifle, the Sword, and the Sniper Rifle. I feel like that's what was there last week. I'm really waiting on the Pulse Rifle at this point, so if you guys can't tell. I love my Go Figure, but I hear the Blast Furnace can be even better. Uh, so if I can get, like, literally a Feeding Frenzy and then uh, Rampage, as opposed to my Outlaw Rampage, I would love it. But I haven't been able to work on the Blast Furnace in a while, so... Tatara Gaze, uh, pretty solid sniper rifle. I've got a pretty good role for PvE, actually, for breaking shields and disorienting and stuff like that. Sword, if you can get, like, the god surrounded role, this thing is apparently a beast, so consider it. And then the auto rifle, the ringing nail. Uh, this one's got some decent options to it for rolls. The curated is quite good. Um, for me, just for stuff that I don't have, auto rifle still first, just because I would love to have a good auto rifle. S excuse me. Sword could be, honestly, epic if you get the right roll. Sniper, I'm still not loving, but I've seen some people pick me off. So if you're a sniper, still works pretty well. Um, make sure you guys, if you want your daily bounties, remember it takes ballistics logs to buy these. I have two previously because they can carry over. But if you need more, knock out your weekly bounties. Let's go talk to Spider and see what these last two people have for the week. All right, Guardians, here at Spider, we've got the weekly bounty as the Blood Cleaver. That's going to be on IO. It's actually the exact same one that was last week. So if you did it once, you know how to do it. If you don't, I do have a previous video. If you guys think that one's maybe outdated, let me know. I could probably pop a new one up. They're really not too bad. Uh, big thing on the Blood Cleaver is it's going to have a shield. You have to go into the shield, punch the little shield generator, and then some miniguns are going to spawn around it. You have to kill the major minigun, which is going to drop a orb. You have to dunk the orb where the shield generator was. It's this little, like, small cylinder sitting on the ground that the Blood Cleaver is going to defend. So you're going to have to pull the Blood Cleaver out, punch it a few times. If he comes back in, you are suppressed, so you can't do much to him. So then you have to kind of jump back out, kind of jump in and out a couple times. Once you dunk it, the shield will drop and then just drop everything you can. Super heavy, bring some big stuff with you, and you can usually kill them pretty quickly. So um, not too bad, honestly, in quick, powerful gear. Even if it is a plus one, if you are missing some like pieces, say you're like, hey, I did Gambit Prime, I got a big boost, but this one thing is just slacking. Do one of these type plus one things and see if you can get that gap to get filled, and then you'll probably help your light level a little bit. Again, remember, if you do swing through Tangled Shore, um, easy bounties to do, defeat Cabal, defeat Fallen, pop a super, defeat Hive, like, these three bounties alone of just sh killing stuff is going to take you, I don't know, ten minutes, maybe, three quick bounties, so, if you need some, uh, enhancement cores, of course, we never have enough, so pick up your one or two of those for the week, and then let's go talk about the Dreaming City with Petra to wrap this thing up. Well, as we stand in front of Petra looking oh so stoic as ever, here in the Strand, if you're wondering her location, she is out here. It is week one in the Dreaming City again, so no more Shattered Throne, back to very calm with the Taken Curse, and let's see what we've got for the week. Usually pretty basic stuff, I'm pretty sure we all know at this point, um, waiting to see when this curse ever actually comes to an end, maybe with Season of Opulence, maybe in September, maybe whatever's next, we don't know, I just do hope it comes to a completion. Uh, your mission is going to be Broken Courier, daily bounties for the week, of course, get your eight, so break that over two days, and then you get your Ascendant Challenge, which of course you guys know I'll do that video next, and then if you do want to do Gateway Between Worlds, you can, but if you already have your stuff from there, um, your Spark of Light, you really don't need to, so if you don't have Fragments, you may not need to grind for those. If you're looking for the lore for the week or whatever, you can, but again, that's not anything I usually worry too much on. Some public events, kill some enemies, do the Lost Sector Chamber of Starlight. That is the one, currently, at least for today's daily bounties, over in uh, Ray Sylvia. And then challenge the Shattered. This is where you'll find Toland. So I will definitely make sure I show you where you guys where Toland is this week. That'll pretty much wrap it up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing my face in here. If you guys like this view, I can leave myself in there. If you're like, eh, I don't really care for it, I'll take it out. Just kind of thought I'd throw it in there today. Um, I will work on the camera setup so I'm not like looking back and forth. Um, just so that one makes a little more sense. But thank you guys, honestly, for the support. It's been amazing. 33,000 subs and growing. Um, 
so many followers on Twitch, on Twitter. Everything's been amazing, and I'm just having a lot of fun hanging out with you guys usually. So come hang out on Twitch. It's a blast. Twitch.tv slash Ubuntu. Follow me on Twitter. Sometimes I'm goofy. Sometimes I'm just informative. A little of both. And then right here on YouTube, you guys have always been awesome. So if you haven't, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you got a comment, question, thought, or anything, leave that down below in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you guys enjoyed the video, hit that sub button. It definitely helps me out, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. I'll see you soon.